So this video is going to tell you about what floodplains and levees are and it's going to explain to you how they're formed. So you're going to listen up and then you're going to be able to explain it to me. Rivers actually flood quite often and when they do, the place where the water actually goes, where the water actually floods out to, is known as the floodplain. And this is often quite a wide and flat area of land and it's also usually a place where you get meanders as well. So that's what they are and where they are found. Now we need to know a little bit more about how floodplains and levees are actually formed. As we know, when rivers flow, they're actually carrying a lot of sediment, a lot of rocks, sand and different materials in the water through transportation. So when a river actually floods out onto a floodplain, they actually lose energy because there's greater friction between the water and obviously the land that it's spread out over. And because this water's quite shallow, the velocity decreases, the actual speed of the water flow decreases. The river loses energy and you get a lot of deposition onto the floodplain. So you get lots and lots of sediment that's deposited onto the floodplain next to the river. And obviously if a river floods over and over again, this can create a build-up of several layers of sediment that we sometimes call alluvium, alluvium even. And you can get layers and layers of this next to the river. Obviously the thing about transportation is that it takes a lot more energy to carry something a lot bigger than it does to carry something a lot smaller. So for example, I could carry this pen lid a lot further than I could carry this bottle of water or half bottle of water. So the same thing applies to a river really. As we said, when a river floods, the water spreads out over a larger area and therefore loses a lot of energy. And as I've just mentioned, the larger material takes a lot more energy to be carried by a river. So that large material is therefore dropped off first. So you get a lot of large material, like rocks in the river, that are deposited right next to the river channel. That smaller sand and sediment can be carried a little bit further away. So because of this, you actually get a ridge of higher material next to the river channel on both sides of the river, both banks of the river. And this is actually called a levee. So that's one of our key landforms. Also, actually, you can actually get a bit of deposition within the channel of the river itself. And this can sometimes raise the bed of the river, sometimes actually above the level of the floodplain either side. Just, and it's just the levees then that are actually keeping the water in the river. Finally, one other thing that can contribute to the floodplain being this large, wide, flat area of land is the process of erosion. And more specifically, cleaners have come for me, okay, we'll just carry on anyway. And more specifically, meanders can actually erode laterally. So when the meanders become more pronounced, more windy, they can actually erode sideways into the valley sides. And this can sort of erode the valley side and make a larger, wider, flatter floodplain. And the proper word for this is meander migration. And that is how floodplains and levees are actually formed. And that's all for now.